Our next three bachelors are well aware of the fact that our next young lady will not be questioning them. They're not aware of who that person will be. I have two words for the gentleman. Good luck. And here they are. Welcome. Good evening, gentlemen. Bachelor number one plans on eventually becoming a lawyer. He was a member of the all-Dublin hurling team, was born at sea off the coast of Ireland. We'd like you to welcome Lynn Bunch. Lynn, good luck. Good evening. A recent addition to the United States Air Force, bachelor number two is planning a career behind the scenes in television. His interests include bowling, hunting, and flying saucers. From Bell, California, here is Richard Conley. Dick, good luck. A professional mountain climber, bachelor number three, is also a star football player. He's majoring in sociology at college, was born in Pasadena, California. We'd like you to meet Lynn White. Lynn, good luck to you and good evening. And there are three of the most intrepid bachelors we've met in a long time. Now, in order to keep him from hearing the introductions of our three gentlemen, we have kept our questioning gentlemen off stage in a soundproof room. May we introduce him to you right now. <laughs> With his scathing sense of humor, to use the word beloved might be an anachronism, but he's one of America's most popular comedians, currently at the Sahara Hotel in Las Vegas. You can see him in the moon pictures, in the new comedy, and they're laughing on your television screens in the near future on the Dean Martin Show. We're delighted to have on the dating game, Mr. Don Rickles. <laughs> Hello, Don. How are you? Where, where are you going? I thought I'd sit down. You're nervous already? No, this is exciting. What a show. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> what a night. It was Perfect. nice of you to take over for a shy young lady. Great, great, great being here, Jim. Nice to have you on a big show, Tom. Uh, okay, that's it, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> now, there are three gentlemen over there, and I want you to do your best to select one of these guys for the young lady. You know how, to, how we do it, right? Well, well, well I'll, try, I'll try my best, Jim. <laughs> good, good luck. What, what an exciting... Let's have them say hello. Number one, would you say hello to Don, please? Hello, number one. No, number one's going to say hello to you. I'll, I'll do the funny. Wild game. Yes. All right. Number two. Uh, we, can we hear from number one over there? Yeah, there, there, there. Hello, Don. Uh, number two. Hello, Don. And Hello. number three. Howdy. All right, Don. Don, jump up in a the chair there. <laughs> I'm going to get out of here. Good luck. Good thinking. Good thinking. <laughs> Says pick up a white bread, two pounds. I got no. the ball. Oh. Okay, where, where's the camera? I want the world Close to get... up right there. Oh, that, that's it. Hi. <laughs> oh. uh, and, and not, number one? Number one? Could he move his lips? Some sort of hint. <laughs> Say something. Number, number one. one? Yes. Good. Oh. <laughs> Charlie Dynamite behind the screen. <laughs> uh, what impresses you most uh, about yourself? I'm athletic. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Uh, that, 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 that's about it? No, I'm, I like to have a good time. I'm athletic, and I get good grades in school when I went to school. Oh, what bay? <laughs> uh, and, uh, num number two? Oh, yeah. oh, this is a bad show. <laughs> number two, what's, what's your problem? Uh, <laughs> I, I hope you got good grades in school, sweetheart. Uh, what impresses you most about yourself? Uh, my, uh, sense of humor. I'm actually a very exciting person. <laughs> you, you sure are. <laughs> well, my mother uh, num number that. three, I, I hope you're full of pep like number two. Yeah, right num number three, could you, could you move your arm? Any... <laughs> What impresses you, number three? Uh, he knows, he knows. Oh, yes, he yes. Yes. Just put out and hope the jacket comes back in style. <laughs> what impresses you, number three? Well, basically that I'm still alive and walking around. <laughs> <laughs> and I got a dummy for number three. <laughs> okay, okay, we'll just roll right along with this bombastic review. <laughs> Number two, uh, yes. uh, number two, uh, will I have to come along uh, on the date to, to keep things lively? No, I don't think so. Oh, uh, you, really? You, you, could probably, <laughs> you could probably keep them lively, yes, but with my sense of humor and great fun, I could do it. <laughs> you know, with him, I could doze off at a New Year's Eve party. <laughs> uh, good, number two, uh, <laughs> go to charm school. 
Uh, how, how do you feel about it, number one? Uh, I think I can keep it pretty live. I don't, I'm not too sure about you, though. <laughs> okay, that's one for the smart guy. <laughs> smart guy leading the dummy, one nothing. <laughs> uh, number three. For the sake of Denise, uh, convince me that uh, you're not, you're not a, a, a dummy kid. <laughs> and number three, are you off? Are you off? <laughs> Say something. Fire a flare. Wake him up. I know a good job. What does it say? I got to talk to a guy that dozes off on the show. <laughs> so far, Jim, you got a big part in this. <laughs> you got more laughs than you got in the Bishop show. <laughs> you want to hear a funny line, Jim? Oh, you shut, shut up. up. <laughs> Number three, uh, would, you, would you give me some sort of a hint for an answer? What? He oh, are you want some laughs? Uh, yeah. Are you still a comedian? Pardon me? Are you still a comedian? <laughs> Excuse me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put it to you another way. Number three is starting to steam me. <laughs> no, for the sake of Denise, uh, what would you do to make her enjoy the evening? I sure a good accent? time. Pardon me? I sure a good time. It's sure a good time. Wonderful. Oh, why am I on this? <laughs> uh, number two, how do you feel about it? What would you do to give Denise a good time? Uh, <laughs> a lot of humor there when you think about it. Yeah. The first thing is not take you along. Yeah. Uh, then I think we'd go out and have a nice evening without you. Without, without me. In other words, you'd sit in back of your Chevy and listen to the motor all night. <laughs> okay. How did you know I had a Chevy? Now, n now, number f uh, number uh, number one, uh, number four, number. S I think I'm playing Keno here. I don't know what <laughs> number four. Uh, this this, this no, is the fourth. No that's the fourth question. There's no number four. I uh, I get that. Wild guess, Don. You keep it up, Jim. You keep it up. <laughs> Hope you go to San Francisco and the bay sucks you in. <laughs> number one. Since a good background is very important, where were you born? Where was I born? Uh, that's, that's correct. <laughs> I was born Bailey at the Clee Theater. Where? Bailey at the Clee Theater. Well, I hope it clears up. <laughs> it's double iron. No, nah, that's it. That's all. Uh, oh, darn it. Son of a gun. Stay I'm right there. You have 60 seconds to make up your mind which of the gentlemen you're going to choose for our shy young lady for a date. Meanwhile, let's listen to this message. Welcome back to the dating game, and Don, I hope you thought about uh, those fellas over there pretty good. I sure did. Uh, one of them is going to be a date for Denise, and I know you want to do your best for her, right? I sure do. All so right. we'll eliminate all three of them. <laughs> <laughs> well, one of them is going to have to go, Don. And will it be bachelor number one, bachelor number two, or bachelor number three? Don, which one do you choose for Denise? <laughs> I don't want to tell you. What do you think? <laughs> I would say, <laughs> I would say, Jim. Uh, I think uh, possibly because he had that uh, that howdy approach, you know yeah. that, that you know that uh, ranch type humor. Yeah. I would say n number two. Number two. All right. <laughs> all right. Now, Don, you made your choice for our shy young lady. Before we meet the three bachelors, we'd like our audience to meet her. She's been waiting backstage, watching this whole. Mess here. <laughs> naughty, naughty. Uh, <laughs> almost said it. Yeah. She's a student who's an art and beach fan. She loves animals. We're delighted to welcome to the dating game Denise Burkett. Denise, come on out and say hello to the audience. Denise, there's John Rickles. Ah. Denise, he has chosen bachelor number two for you. And before we meet, uh, you can't see him yet. We would like to see the gentleman Don did not choose. He didn't select bachelor number one. Uh, bachelor number one is studying to become a lawyer. He was born in, in Ireland. Uh, we didn't quite get the name there. It sounded like it was a ship at sea. He's a member of the old Dublin hurling team, Lynn Bunch. Lynn, if you would, please come and say hello. Don Rickles, Lynn Bunch. Denise, say hello to Lynn. Hey, wait a minute there. Don's getting nervous. <laughs> this, this is exciting. Keep it rolling. <laughs> All right. You also didn't select bachelor number three, Don, for Denise. He's a professional mountain climber, a star football player, <laughs> majoring in sociology, Lynn White. Lynn, come on and say hello to Don Rickles. <laughs> Lynn, nice going. 
Gentlemen, you are up against uh, one of the masters there. We thank you so much for playing the dating game this evening. And the next time you take a trip, we hope you'll be able to use this handsome, streamlined two-suiter made by the Samsonite Corporation. Easy to pack, easy to carry. It features hidden locks, strong light magnesium frames, and scuff-resistant finish. And again, our thanks. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. What a, what a gift. What a, that's great. Isn't that a beauty? you give them, huh? <laughs> Cheapy Jim. <laughs> Well, listen, they had to face you, Don. Yeah, it's, it's, sure, sure did, Jim. That's an honor. <laughs> All right. <laughs> now, you picked number two for Denise, Don. I'd like to tell you both something about him. He is a member of the United States Air Force right now. He loves bowling, hunting, flying saucers. Hey, how about that? He wants to be a television director and producer, Dick Conley. Richard, come on and say hello to Denise. Come on over here, uh, <laughs> you can put your arm around her there, Dick. If he's, a, if he's a TV director, he has to learn how to walk. <laughs> <laughs> there are many cities in the world, Denise, which have earned nicknames down to the ears. Paris is the city of lights. New York is happily known as the Big Flower. And, of course, the Windy City is Chicago. Well, you and Richard are going on your chaperone dream date to a city which has had a special name, which is centuries old. Because you two are going to the eternal city of Rome, Italy. <laughs> How's that for a prize, Don? <laughs> Rome, the eternal city where the ancient and modern await you and Richard. With your dating game chaperone, you'll be welcome to the... Possibly both being Jewish. No, you could <laughs> You'll be welcomed at the Hotel Excelsior, center of the cosmopolitan life on the world-famous Via Veneto. Favored by Roman high society, there's so much to see, so many places to go in Rome, it's hard to know where to start. The Villa Borghese Gardens, Bernini's Fountain of the Four Rivers, the Basilica of St. Peter. Sorry about that, Don. All this is Rome by day and Rome by night, pulsing with excitement as you dine at El Fredo's. Visit the places where you hear the modern jazz, the new music of Rome. Enjoy its top entertainers. You'll have the time of your life before you must say, Arriva Derci Roma. Travel arrangements to Rome will be made via TWA, whose luxurious Starstream jets flying coast to coast and across the Atlantic to Europe, Africa, and Asia offer a warm welcome to the world of Trans World Airlines. <laughs> 